Okay, hello my Pisces. So this is going to be your general reading for February 16th through the 28th. So um, I want to give you guys a little bit of intuitive guidance before I start showing you the cards. Um, as I shuffled Pisces, this month, happy birthday by the way, I know some of you guys um, are early, early Pisces. Um, so I feel that a lot of you guys have been working so hard at something, especially in realms of work. I feel a lot of you guys have been overworking yourselves like to the extreme, like the cards here that are laid out are, are literally all about just being exhausted and neglecting your self care. Okay. I feel that a lot of you guys are going through a time where you have your eye on the prize, okay? Pisces, when you have decided that you want something in your life, there is no stopping you. Um, you guys are extremely hardworking despite, you know, the stereotype of Pisces not being, not being motivated, which is far from the truth, okay? Um, I feel like my Pisces, a lot of you guys are juggling. You guys are multitasking a family. You're multitasking work. You are juggling family. Um, I see maybe some family issues, some health issues. And this doesn't have to be anything serious, okay? I'm not talking about life and death situations here. I'm talking about like a cold or something, like a cough that keeps kind of nagging at you. Um, but the overall theme is self-care Pisces, okay? Be gentle with yourself this month. Be kind to yourself. Be nurturing to yourself. Because I, I just, as I shuffled, I felt this beautiful, warm feeling. You guys are feeling very um, happy and you guys are feeling very stable with your vision and what you are trying to establish for yourselves. I see this being such a positive energy for you guys. However, I think that the method that you guys are um, using in order to get to your goal can be a little bit exhausting, okay? So I would just say work on your balance the end of the month work-life balance, okay? Try not to give too much to other people in order to make them happy or try not to give too much of yourself to work to the point where you feel so exhausted when you get home that you're having a hard time caring for yourself, okay? So with that said, um, the theme here is the Empress in reverse, right? So there's a feeling of just kind of feeling like um, a bit uncared for. The the self-care aspect here with this card is, is huge, right? Like this is what I'm talking about. You are not taking care of yourself, okay? In the upright position, she's abundant. She's taking care of herself. She's feeling good about herself. I feel like you guys are just exhausted. You guys are doing it all. I feel that some of you men and women, you know, my, my male and Pisces women out there, Perhaps you are in charge of everything. Maybe you feel on a spiritual level that the world is on your shoulders. Maybe you feel that you have to do everything and this is leaving you exhausted, okay? You feel completely depleted at the end of the month, all right? But the reality is this card is still beautiful, okay? All you have to do is refocus all that scattered energy in different directions and bring it within. Bring it to yourself and really practice self-care the end of the month. Do not allow yourself to wear yourself thin, okay? All I'm saying is take care of yourself. On the home front, the tower in reverse. So something's going on within the home environment, okay? And I see two different energies here. I see Cancer um, and I see Virgo or Taurus, even Libra. Um, you guys, something's going on within the home front. Um, I feel that something, 
something needs to come to an end within your home environment, okay? So in the reverse, this is like a slow destruction, right? Because you're holding on or you're attempting to control the outcome. However, this energy is not a bad card. Everyone's always so scared to see the tower. It can be a little bit like, uh, like, oh my God, like sudden, like a sudden change. But ultimately, this is about breaking old patterns, breaking old behaviors, or breaking old um, routines within the home and establishing new healthier patterns that will aid you in your spiritual growth or your self growth in general, okay? So in the reverse, you guys are holding on to something that needs to come to an end within your home. This can be your relationship with family. This can be patterns, your your um, your perspectives, um, your relationships. This can be anything, but the ultimate result is this is going to come to a sudden shift and you have to be prepared for it. So allowing yourself to let go of that need of control will help you transition into a better space. Okay, you guys. So with that said, what opportunities? Okay, so you have the chariot in reverse. This is perfect for my intuitive guidance because what this is saying is you guys are going to be given an opportunity to rest, okay? For me, the way I interpret this energy in reverse as an opportunity is that you guys have been moving full force in victory. You guys are still going to be victorious, okay? I still see very positive energy in, in the direction you, you guys have this immense willpower and you guys have the gift of being very chameleon like you can fit into any group of friends you can fit into any environment you can it's like you just it's almost like a Gemini like energy right very similar you can transform yourself into whatever you want to be at any given moment, okay? So in reverse, the gift here is slowing down, okay? I see this opportunity as really putting on the brakes and reflecting, reanalyzing, and taking a break and saying, okay, I don't need to move so aggressively forward to reach my goal right now as if there isn't going to be a tomorrow, Okay, so this is just about readjusting. This is just about, okay, so here I might have hit a dead end. So how am I going to get to my goal without being so maybe aggressive about it or so black and white or so rigid? Okay, now you're going to kind of move into a space where you're going to be a little more fluid. You're going to be creative about your approach and you're going to say, hey, like I deserve a break. Okay which is beautiful. What are energies that are working against you? The High Priestess, Funny Cancer just got this um, card as a blocked energy as well. Um, okay, there are things that are happening behind the scenes. There are a lot of things that are happening that have not come out to light yet. Um, what I recommend, okay, because we have the world in reverse here, there's something that needs to come full circle into a completion, okay? Something is not completed that needs to be completed. The end of the month, you will understand and have a better understanding of what this is. But something that you started a long time ago, whether it's relationships, whether it's projects, whether it's work, whatever it is, has not, it's, it's, become a delay. There is a sudden halt to everything, okay? But with the high priestess, there are secrets behind this. So whatever it is, your best bet is to meditate and really be in the moment and follow your intuition into guiding you into the next step, okay? Because there is a need for fulfillment here. There's a need for completion here in order to shift into your next phase into the next, um, into the next chapter of your life. Okay. So something needs to come to an end, meditate on it, 
try to see what you know your spirit guides are, are trying to communicate through dreams through uh, synchronicities but pay attention to all this because this is such a spiritual card this is such um, a spiritual kind of you know intuitive pull which is saying pay attention to, to things without being so obvious about it okay it's more of nonverbal communication right pay attention on a very spiritual level all right um but i do see a great month ahead just take care of you guys like really take care of yourself pisces okay um don't overextend yourself is what I'm hearing, okay? But I do see you guys working hard. I see that you will, you will, will shift into a new energy for the full moon, the 1st of March. I do see you guys releasing old ways and really kind of coming into a rebirth, okay? And I see this happening for you the end of the month, which is great. So don't worry about not reaching your goal, because you will. Okay? Thank you.